How's it going, people of the LGU? My name is SoCal Spartan, and today I'm going to be doing a little review of the competition playlist that has just been added to Call of Duty Black Ops. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. In the competition playlist, there are a number of restricted perks, weapons and attachments, as well as equipment being banned and kill streaks. The perks that are gone are Flak Jacket, Second Chance, and Warlord. Flak Jacket and Warlord kind of give you advantages with grenades, which I'll go into later. The weapons that have been banned are the secondary launchers, and the Strela 3 you will not need because, as I said a second ago, there are no kill streaks. The attachments are rapid fire, grenade launcher, and the flamethrower because these things kind of give you a bit of an unfair advantage when you're using them. And the tactical grenades that have been banned are Nova Gas and Decoy because, let's face it, those things are cheap and annoying. So, uh, another thing that's been taken out of the playlist is the contracts. And the reason contracts are taken out is because you don't really want your team running around with pistols only trying to get reload kills while you are uh, sitting there trying to capture B in domination. Speaking of uh, objectives, the only three game types are search and destroy, capture the flag, and uh, domination, which go along with the MLG Pro Circuit rules. Another thing that goes along with MLG Pro Circuit rules is the rules themselves in the game. The, the mechanics have been changed, uh, basically spawn times have been changed, and plant and diffuse times, as well as capture times of flags in uh, domination in, or, uh, in order to uh, comply with the Pro Circuit rules. However, some of the maps uh, that are used by, by Triarch are not actually MLG um, certified, I guess you could say. And uh, that's going to bring us to the pros and cons, as that is one of the cons. So, the pros and cons are, first off, there are less noobs, um, which is a good thing, which is a pro, because, um, I mean, let's face it, you don't want noobs running around, and they probably don't know about this playlist because they don't really pay attention too much. They just go straight to TDM. Um, the next pro is less cheapness, basically, without kill streaks and, uh, you know, the, the launchers and stuff like that. There's a lot less cheap things going on. I mean, sure, there might be a couple, but um, for the most part, they're pretty much uh, ruled out next thing is better rules it makes the game flow better and uh, makes it more competitive when you um, when you have teams trying to team cap flags instead of one guy just playing the objective and the rest of the people just kinda shooting around um, it also generates an interest in MLG which let's face it if the gaming industry is gonna go farther than it has now and I'm talking about the players uh, the community basically it's probably gonna have to be through MLG because I don't think uh, we're gonna have commentators on TV anytime soon um, the last thing uh, that's a pro is it's a great place to meet good players um, if you don't want to just deal with new players that you'll find in like the regular playlist. This is a great place um, to meet good players because mostly the good players are the ones who are going to be playing here. There are only two cons and the first one is that some of the maps don't comply which I mentioned earlier. Um, I think that they to solve this they should probably just make a, another playlist that's just ML MLG strict rules. Basically they only have the MLG maps. Uh, I think that would fit good. And Treyarch, if you're watching this, which you probably aren't, um, maybe try to take my advice. And the second uh, one is the friendly fire is misused. Not that it can be misused uh, right, but um, a lot of noobs do find their way into this playlist and uh, use the friendly fire for bad. Um, I think a way to solve this would be make it, maybe make a boot uh, screen like Halo, so that if they boot too many times, or if they team kill too many times, uh, you'll have the option to boot. Or maybe in Search and Destroy, make the... Uh, make the damage shared so that uh, maybe people won't hurt you as much. I don't know. Some of these things just can't be solved because the players are just so annoying in, in, Call, in the Call of Duty series in general. But uh, anyway, that's my review. As far as I'm concerned, you should definitely go play this, uh, this playlist. It's definitely my favorite right now, and uh, go check it out. Alright, see you guys.